massive. Oh, there we go. I got it in yeah. progress. Okay, everybody shut up now. Um, apparently, it'll work Let's out. Get by acapella. I don't know why he needs a guitar. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yeah. There's goodness all around. <clears throat> really. Cultivate joy. <laughs> Part of it, I don't usually do interviews, but I'm here because. Um, Lee has put his faith in me to try and talk to you guys. Um, part of it is I'm from New Jersey. I grew up in Montclair. No I, way. I was in Ironbound for a bit. And then I was no way. In, yeah, Massachusetts. Uh, my mom used to teach in Maplewood, actually. Was that one of the... Yeah, what, sh where, what school? Uh, it was an adult um, skills training huh. thing that I don't remember the name of. But um, yes. WFMU was my go-to station because it was quite local. And now I'm pleased I can hear it from here now. Um, but uh, Yes, WFMU I, is where, uh, let me see, I could tell you. I, I spent time in Ironbound because uh, my mom went to law school in Newark. Uh, yeah. And uh, I spent time in Montclair because there was a hobby shop there that I used to like to go to with my dad. The and I also, <laughs> I, I took some, I took some weird classes at Montclair State too when I was in junior high. And then uh, um, my dad taught at Seton Hall University for 50 years. He was a medievalist. Right. And a Chaucer professor. Wow. Yeah. Go to that. So, I'm sorry. Yeah. Mike, Matt, I don't know if I told you I... We have a coloring book. Did I tell you that? Uh, Mother no. Seton, is that who oh, 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 yeah, you did. And Ann Seton. Yeah. yeah. Give to and there's, I think you told me there, there's stuff in it that I didn't know. I actually don't know anything about her. Like, is it, what, what was there? Did the coloring book reveal anything colorful? Somebody offered it to us and we took it just to give to you and we haven't even cracked it up. Oh, oh, cool. All right. Excellent. Yeah. I really, I know very little about her. Mm -hmm. her, her name was Anne. That's all I know. Yeah. And was it 2005 that Super? I mean, you have a new record out. Let's, mm -hmm. let's talk about the elephant. You have a new record out, Super Wolves. Because the mm -hmm. physical came out today. It comes out today. Is it today? Yeah. Today? Yeah. Oh, the right. then, finally, yeah. So, 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 Will, does that mean that it's? Is it out? Does Drag City put it out on the twenty third next week, or is that, or is it officially out today? Oh, like I maybe, can't tell. I don't know. maybe it's out. <laughs> I, I think it's out today, but I don't know. Yeah. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's been very confusing. It's been the longest. It's been a very protracted release. <laughs> like, there've been singles and videos out. Yeah, yeah, since for a while. since December. Yeah. We sold copies on the road a couple of weeks ago. Oh. Say that, say we that sold again? copies. We sold copies of the record, you know, on while we were playing shows. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. There are physical copies out there in people's hands. Ooh. Yes. That. Um, ah. I had some files to listen to. Okay. Cool. Um, and I, you know, I tracked down your videos. Um, Great. Which aren't hard to track down because everybody's gone. This is awesome. Um, <laughs> and I quite like it. I had I had some I had some questions though. Um, which is good because I'm interviewing you. You're supposed to do that. <clears throat> That's not coffee. This what? He's drinking water there. You've got coffee. What's on your cup? This is uh, it's a picture of Will and me. It's our new Superwolves mug. Oh, I, um, I'm like a good coffee cup. I'm using mm -hmm. a travel cup. What's cool is it's got us on both sides, the same photo. Wow, so you could, whichever hand you're holding it in, you can still. That's right. None Never gonna, you know where you fucking stand. <laughs> yes. Um, so the, the first thing I saw actually was the Hall of Death video, which is creepy. Um, and who picked out which sweets were gonna be in the cooler? Ah. You mean in the, in the video? In the video. This the video like when we work with you know we we take care of the music and then when we uh, 
commission somebody to make some sort of visualization, we kind of give them a, a almost complete free reign. And we just say, tell us what you want us to do. Uh -huh. Yeah. So it was Sai Sal, I mean, I can't pronounce his last name. Sai Salvergerian is, okay. the, is, the, is the video director. And it was Sai that, that stocked the, uh, the cooler with sweets and cast. I, I, cast I didn't know the, how. And actresses and yeah. And also, was, because also that was, you know, all of the videos pretty much were made during lockdown. So it was, it was, we were working with film crews who were in different parts of the world and they just told us what to do in our respective places, except for uh, the Make Worry For Me video. Cause we, Matt and I drove across the country and, and convened in this bunker in Northern Ohio. Mm -hmm. We were all there together. Was that and, and in the case of that, we had a, we had a little bit of input but just in as much as that we were all in a room together. So we had that much input, you know? Yep. And then, and, and then we were, we were planning on shooting a lot, a bunch of stuff in January. We had all sorts of plans and every single mm -hmm. thing got shut down because of COVID. And in that case, it was a lot scarier because there was people in, in people who were involved in all the productions kept on getting sick. Um, so we went back to remote video making. Mm. The thought of traveling seems complicated. How 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 long was your last tour? A couple of weeks in California, yeah, all California. So we only yeah. had one one state's laws, although those laws changed during during those two weeks. Yes, yeah, so, uh, and also speaking of that, Will, did you see they changed again this morning, and that there's a man. Masks are ma now mandated inside in LA. Yes, <laughs> so we will probably have to do something about that show. I wonder, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm hoping they could just move it outside, you know? Right. But it should be something to check with Botch about. Uh, but as far as traveling goes, Kath, it was, uh, it was flying, I didn't mind at all. In fact, I prefer wearing, I, I like that people are wearing masks while flying. Uh, and the airport was, at least in the States, was more manageable because there was less people. But I hear that in Europe, I heard yesterday there was like a riot at Charles de Gaulle Airport, as far as traveling goes. Um, but it was really cool getting to go to California uh, and getting to play shows, but we did these socially distanced outdoor shows. Mm. That, as Will said, they, 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 by the time that we got to California and we're doing the shows, everything had relaxed quite a bit, but it was still outside and it still did not feel like a normal situation. But then by the last, the very last, the, only the very last show, the mask mandate was gone. And, and so the audience only for the last show was free to sit close to each other with no masks on. Yeah. Right. It was interesting also that once the masks were off, it, it seemed like the audience was more like, sort of like, uh, shut up and play. <laughs> Did you notice that, Will? Like they're kind of like, <laughs> way, way back, <laughs> they went back to, to, to that mode. You mean at Pioneer Town? Yeah. <laughs> All right. At least that, that, that was an emotion that I that 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 went over me at one point. I was like, all right. <laughs> like, so so much for people like <laughs> feeling like there's a give and take. It was more like, all right, I'm here. Let's party. Entertain me. But didn't we, all, we, got, we also got a, a, a blowjob offer shouted from the audience at uh, Pioneer Town. Yes. Yeah. So that's, it balances out. That's, yes. That's give and take of <laughs> a certain type. Yeah, <laughs> I think that's what audiences are for. <laughs> Give and take. Give and take. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us that offer wouldn't go down very well. <clears throat> hey. Um. <clears throat> <clears throat> just. Uh, <laughs> it's hard to swallow. I know. <laughs> ba -dum -ba -dum. So I. I like I said, anything you don't want going out there, <laughs> you're welcome to say that at any point. And 
uh, on the other side, honestly, if we cover a topic you don't want to be airing, <laughs> please do let me know. <laughs> the Super Wolf manager is like, is, is standing behind me going. Oh. Uh. <clears throat> um, why is this Super Wolves and not with Super Wolf? Seems like, well, yeah, kind, kind just things sort of multiply as we get older. Maybe for some people it doesn't, I, I guess. I guess you see those lonely, disturbed people that seem like they have surgically implanted blinders attached to the their temples. But my, my notion is that the more we're on the earth, the more we're sort of separated into multiple beings. Hmm. Expanding and multiplying. So like, this is what you had before and more yeah or... yeah i just okay. noticed will i i put i i uh turns out i i, I just oh, what the hell, stop somebody call it hi 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 um uh i moved into a new building and it turns out that everybody in my building is a record collector and uh, so I've been leaving records out in my lobby for people to take. And uh, I noticed, Will, did you see how the records look one next to the other? No. This is the, the, they look really of a piece together. And there's this thing going on with, oh, cool. with the hands. It's really cool. It almost, it, it looks very deliberate. Um, Super where, and Super Wolves look good together. Yeah, yeah, because cause there's, a, there's a hand oh. and a hand. Take a look, it's cool. Is it like um, Adam and? Yeah, so kind of, yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, so, this but- the, This is the artist from uh, who did the the, uh, the first record. It's Matt's cousin. Yes. Right. Um, but the, uh, which is also, to, uh, I'm, I'm only bringing it up because again, Super Wolves, Super Wolves, and you know, just also a, an idea of, continuum and relationship and i think at least in my mind it kind of by calling the record super wolves it kind of gives us a band name you know people, I mean? effectively people people will just assume that that's that is the name yeah but, it, but the idea is that it's it's you know we're broadcasting that it's Matt Sweeney bringing his Matt Sweeney world to the table and it's and then it's Bonnie Billy bringing Bonnie Billy's world to the musical world to the table yeah and, and making sure that that's a, a very clear thing that it's 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 our worlds colliding and that's, mm -hmm. that's yeah. the essence of the thing so why create a new name yeah I, I, I yeah I've, I've long been kind of puzzled and annoyed by the idea of band names since they don't really mean something very often, uh, either because the band has splintered and then come back together and doesn't resemble what they resembled when the name was created, or or the band is is actually a single human being, and it's yeah, I've never understood band names and and, and even it's like even sports the idea, teams, like uh, you know, a band that has t ten records, you can't. I mean, most people can't say, I like that band. You're not going to like all 10 records. Uh, <laughs> you say which records you like, and you like the records. You don't really like the band, because the band is bound to make things that you don't care for. You know, I, I was saying about this the other day, Will. Um, and I, I mean, I guess it's really obvious, but it never occurred to me on the subject. I think it's a sports team thing. You know, it's I, I think maybe, maybe that maybe that the, the thinking is exactly the same as sports teams because me and Jr. were talking about how we, we neither one of us have have it in us to root for a, a team because we just don't understand the idea. It's like this team doesn't care about me. This team is constantly changing members, and you know what I mean. And to, it, it occurs to me the other I was like, all right, rock bands. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like I I, I suppose it's some sort of identify identifying with the brand and and imagery and some kind of 
pretty random value system that a band apparently is supposed to be representing. You know what I mean? In the same way, I guess the sports teams, in some ways. I don't know. Yeah. But uh, I, I think that the comfort, the comfort that people have in saying, "I like this band," is possibly very similar to. Sports I like. Team. Yeah, I like the Jets. So this way, and I think that we're kind of, again, I kind of like the, the Super Wolves thing because I, I'm not sure, I'm sure some some other people have done it, but this, like Will says, gives an idea, you know, it's 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 these two worlds that Will and I have meeting, but then there's also a recognition by giving a consistency to the to the album titles that there is a unit, you know, and a uh, maybe something that you can expect. What do you think's changed? We've just gotten better. Yeah. You get older, you get better. More time to play music and think about stuff and live life and get our asses kicked and be resilient, and pick up and deal with the deaths of people that we love and deal with the deaths of relationships that we thought would last and getting, getting singing 16 years more worth of music and playing 16 years more worth of guitar, you know. Hearing more music, yeah. Practicing more music, writing more music, meeting yeah. more people who talk to you about music and share things <laughs> about music. Yeah. So, and all those things, uh, I think it's been an, an improvement and maybe, you know, I, I, again, I guess talking about the relationship between the two records, I feel like it's cool that I like that we that the records have similar titles and similar art or have a cohesion because it's uh, it reflects this is what 16 years sounds like I suppose you know um, yeah if you want to know what 16 years sounds like just listen to these yeah. two records and then you're yeah. then you're golden yeah. 